Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to fit a flexi downpipe on a Vauxhall mop car. As you can see, this is a brand new one. I've already removed the old one, as you can see. It's got three bolts, they're 13 mils. That connects to these three studs. And then we've got two nuts there. Uh, they're 13 mil as well, that's connected to this bit of the centre box. And also, as you can see, it's got an O2 sensor. And it's a 22 mil spanner. To remove that, or you can use an O2 sensor um, socket to remove it. Now I'm going to refit it. As you can see, I'm about to slide it. As you can see, it's got flex a bit on it with the sensor. Literally, it slides just over like that. As you can see, on this image. Then what we're going to do is line it up with that one. As you can see. Now we're just going to put, as you can see, it's got three copper nuts. When we get new ones with it, always replace them. Sometimes they're very hard to come off. And we just do what we them up to get them off. Always make sure to disconnect, as you can see, the sensor at the top, and literally just take the whole exhaust system out and then remove the O2 sensor after, as it's more. It's more easier to do that way and you have less of a chance of damaging it or rounding it off. As you can see it's all lined up now. It's going to fit the two new nuts. I must also say that literally before you tighten it just make sure that the exhaust is not touching any of the subframe or steering rack or any any components before you actually tighten it, because as soon as you tighten it, literally it's just fixed in place. Also, as you can see, the reason why I've replaced this exhaust flexi pipe, as you can see, it's broken. As you can see, it's completely got excessive movement on it. As you can see, it's completely snapped off and leaking. Exhaust gases. Just gonna show you now how to reconnect the sensor. As you can see, the plug is just up there. As I said just before, always make sure you disconnect the sensor first, it makes it a lot easier to actually remove the exhaust and then literally take the O2 sensor out to swap it over. Then it literally just flip the new one in, make sure it's locked in place properly. The sensor looks all right, it looks like it's all securely fastened in place. So when you finish, make sure you start the engine and check that any leaks coming from the exhaust. Thank you and thank you for watching. Have official, please like and subscribe to my channel.